Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to apply dip powder to natural nails. Applying dip powder to natural nails is roughly the same concept as applying it to nail tips, but with just a few slight differences. If you are interested in seeing how I apply dip powder to nail tips, I will link that video down in the description box below. Disclaimer! Applying dip powder can be tricky, especially when applying it to natural nails. You really have to take your time when applying it, which can get frustrating. But the more you practice applying it, the better you'll get. So don't get frustrated and just take your time with it. And of course, practice a lot. With that being said, everything that I've used in this video and that you'll need will be listed on the screen here. And I will also list everything down in the description box below. So let's get started. So the first step when it comes to applying dip powder to your natural nails is to prep your nails. Now I'm starting off by pushing my cuticles back. If you want, you can go ahead and do some cuticle work. I normally don't just because my cuticles are pretty good, so I don't really need to do that. Next, I am shaping my nails and I'm using a fine grit file to do this just because my nails are naturally very thin so I don't want to accidentally um, chip my nails with the file. The shape that I'm going for today is an oval almond kind of shape but you can go ahead and shape your nails however you want. You can go ahead and do square or coffin or whatever. Um, I just decided to do little almonds because I feel like that suits my hands the best when my nails are short. So. After I'm happy with the shape, I'm using my e-file with my mandrel bit with a fine sanding band on it. You can prep your nails with a regular hand file. I just like using an e-file because it's easier and it goes by faster and I just notice I have less lifting with it. Once my nails are all prepped, I am taking a lint-free wipe and some rubbing alcohol and just removing all of the dust and any extra bacteria off of my nails. You can also use 100% pure acetone to get rid of any oils that you might possibly have on your nails. After that, I am taking my bond and I am applying that to my natural nails. You wanna make sure that this is applied all of your nails, that way the product sticks and stays. Next, I am going in with my base and my natural dip powder. I'm going to be taking my dip powder base and I'm going to be applying that to three fourths of my nail and then dipping it into my natural dip powder. If you see me double dipping into my natural powder, that is because sometimes the base underneath is still wet after dipping in the first time. So a lot of the times I end up just dipping in twice and then I will go back and dip in a third time just to make sure that the base isn't still wet. And then of course, once I know the dip powder isn't still wet, I will dust off the excess powder. Once my natural powder is applied, I'm going to be going in with my dip powder color of choice and applying that a hairline away 
from my cuticle. I'm also making sure to apply my base coat to my side walls. That way I don't have any bald spots. If you do get some bald spots though, you can fix that when you go into your second coat. You just have to really make sure that you are applying it where you want it to be applied. And I'm also making sure that I'm not getting any of the base onto my skin. You don't want the base to get onto your skin or in your cuticle area because otherwise it is a pain to remove. So definitely make sure that you are taking your time when applying the base. I am now going into my second coat and applying the base to my entire nail. And I'm also making sure to get any of those bald spots. I think off camera, I did end up doing a third coat. You don't have to do that. I only did that because my nails are so thin that I wanted to make sure that they were protected. Um, you don't, again, you don't have to do three coats. It really depends on how strong you want them to be. Just know that if you do go in with more coats, the thicker the nail will be. Once I'm happy with it, I'm going to apply my Seal Protect to all of my nails. This helps the dip powder to harden. That way when you go in to file, you don't accidentally file away any of the dip powder. Once it's set, I'm going to go in and file and shape my nails. You know when the dip powder is set because when you tap on it, it makes a loud clicking noise. You want to make sure that the dip powder is set before going in and filing it. Otherwise, you will file off chunks of the dip powder. Once my nails are filed and shaped to my liking, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my lint-free wipe and some rubbing alcohol and clean off all the dust. After you've cleaned all the dust off of your nails, you wanna go in with your top coat. Now, as you can see, I went ahead and did a royal blue French tip. I just decided that I wanted to do something a little fun. Um, but if you just applied a regular colored dip powder, then all you have to do is just apply your top coat. The top coat that I am using is a gel top coat, but you can use whatever top coat that you want. Once my top coat is dry, the last step is to apply cuticle oil. So that is how you apply dip powder to natural nails. If you guys like this video, consider hitting that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you guys get notified as to new videos that I upload. 
if it even works and if it doesn't work you can go ahead and follow me on instagram where i only update you guys as to new videos that we upload but that's also where i share my work that you guys normally wouldn't see here in these videos so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you all in the next one bye